Hello everyone. Welcome to this OpenAI tutorial series. In this tutorial, we are going to look at ChatGPT, examples, capabilities, and limitations. In the previous tutorial, we signed up for an account. If you have not signed up already, you can still sign up for a research trial account. In this tutorial, we will sign into our account, we will change the team, we will try some examples, check the capabilities and limitations of ChatGPT3. To do that, let's go to the official website where we can log in. By following the link on the previous slide, now I am signed in. You can also sign in to your own account. And here it says reset thread dark mode. First, I will change the theme to dark mode. Click on this. Great. Now I have changed the theme to dark mode. If you want to change it back to light mode, you can do it here. Here it says examples, capabilities, limitations. Let's go through them before we actually do something with it. It says here, explain quantum computing in simple terms. It's an example. Another example here is, got any creative ideas for a 10 year old's birthday? Another example here is, how do I make an HTTP request in JavaScript? And for the capabilities, it says, remembers what user said earlier in the conversation. It allows user to provide follow-up corrections, which is great. Here, it is trained to decline inappropriate requests, which is a strong capability. And for the limitations, it says, may occasionally generate incorrect information, it may occasionally produce harmful instructions or biased content, does that mean in humans we do it better? And here it says limited knowledge of world and events after 2021. Could that be that it has more knowledge about the past than the future? Well, we can try it out. We can also type something here if we know what we are going to ask or what we are going to do. And here at the bottom it says free research preview. This is a free research preview. It may not be like this forever. So here it says free research preview. Chat GPT is optimized for dialogue. Our goal is to make all systems more natural to interact with and your feedback will help us improve our systems and make them safer. Like I said earlier, this is a research account that i am using so if you are using a research account it will help them if you can actually send them your feedback they will be able to use that to improve the platform or improve the tool okay now for the examples first let's click on this one here explain quantum computing in simple terms i will click on it and now it's here so we didn't type it up. So if you don't have anything here to click, you can type it up yourself. Now click on this. And it is typing it up, explaining it. Great. Here it tells us what quantum computing is. Here you can give it a thumbs up or give it a thumbs down and here you can try again if i click on try again it explains it again remember this is about ai artificial intelligence now you can click on reset thread if you want to do that or you can type something here. When you move your mouse over it here, it tells you how many attempts you have made. 
we have done it twice now and it says here now this is the second one as two of two and if i click here it takes me to the first one which is one of two and if i click on reset trade it takes me back to the default page which is like the home page now i am going to click on got any creative ideas for a 10 year old's birthday and it's printed here now i'm going to hit continue or go great this is an idea for a 10 year old's birthday Now, I will ask, got an idea for a celebration party. Go. Great. And one idea for a graduation party could be to host a backyard BBQ where friends and family can come together to celebrate the graduate's achievement and so on. That's quite interesting. Now I will reset trade. This time, how do I make an HTTP request in JavaScript? Click on it. Click go. And keep spreading it out so so many great ideas for this great but if you are a programmer or a software developer you would understand that to type up this one on your own normally it will take you some time minutes or even hours to get it right to get it to work but now with 10 seconds you have the result which is great now i'm going to type something in here i will say here a piece of sml code a piece of sml code And here, types it up, a piece of SML code. Here is an example of a simple SML code. Note, to, from heading, body, don't forget me this weekend. This is artificial intelligence and it has been pre-trained to do this. And if you are familiar with computer programming or code, you can tell where this is coming from. Many of you may have seen this one before on the W3C schools. This is part of the SML examples on the W3C schools uh, website. I recognize this myself. Maybe some of you will also recognize it. In addition to writing the SML code, it also explains it and it tells you what SML is used for. And here it says you can use SML to store, transport and share data between different systems and applications. It is a widely used format for exchanging data and many programming languages and tools provide support for working with SML. I hope this helps. Let me know if you have any other questions. Here. I uh, will enter another question. I'll say here a piece of C code. I have deliberately now put a space between P and I, which 
for peace. I want to see whether it will get it right or not. Great, let's screw up a little bit to see it all. It starts from here. Great. From here, I made a deliberate mistake by putting a space between P and I for peace, and it was still able to understand it. And it says here, here is an example of a simple C++ program that appeals the string hello world to the console. Include IO stream int main std colon colon c out hello world std colon colon end line return zero. It gives you here the ability to copy the code. It also explains it here. In this code, the include directive tells the C processor to include the IO stream header file. So this will be a very good learning tool for students or learners of a particular programming language or any concept. It is not all about programming language. Non-programmers can also use it. So it's not only software developers that can use it. Let's reset the thread again. It says here capabilities, remembers what user said earlier in the conversation. I am going to add another question here now, then we will check it and see whether it will actually remember what we said earlier in our conversation. Here I will say, give me five famous word dishes. I'm asking it here now to give me five famous word dishes let's see what dishes is going to tell me that are famous around the world and hit go that's great it says here pizza from italy sushi from japan curry from india tacos from mexico spaghetti from italy so these dishes are considered to be some of the most famous and well-known dishes in the world. They are popular in many countries and are often associated with the cultures where they originated. And I like that. I'm going to mark it. And here it says provide additional feedback. What would the ideal answer have been? That was a great response. So my feedback here now is that was a great response. Submit feedback. And you can edit your question by clicking here. It says here, save and submit, cancel. Here I'm going to cancel it. Then click on Reset thread again. Here it says train to decline inappropriate requests. I am not going to enter any inappropriate request here. So you can see that it is very powerful. It is artificial intelligence and it is really helping to solve so many problems that would have been difficult to solve or that would have taken a long time to solve. You have seen it, how we can generate a piece of code with it. So this will be very useful to computer programmers, coders, but it is not going to be a threat. The chat GPT is a research project. It is quite interesting. I hope you like it the way I do. Thank you for watching. See you in my next video. Bye for now.